Hey, what's going on? It's Coach Luca from Yo Grow Your Gym, and I wanted to whiteboard. You guys, if you see me, like I'd, I'd like to do a lot of whiteboarding teaching, okay? And this is something I wanted to share that will help you grow your business, but really differentiate your business. This is what we coach a lot inside of Yo Grow Your Gym, uh, and not enough coaches are doing, okay? And basically, it is kind of giving the behind the scenes and giving everything away, right? But we'll, we'll get to that, because I want to start with kind of like this pyramid that's like really, really simple of like how people even find out about you, engage with you, and then join. Whether it's your online coaching programs, or it's your brick and mortar gym, um, any business, honestly, anything in a wellness space, in, in a health space, is like that. And it starts with the more curiosity, right? Like, people don't, don't, don't know what they don't know, so they may not know about you, right? I always say, hey, you know, you might be great at what you do and be helping a lot of people, but do people know about you? Of course, they're gonna know through word of mouth, referrals, things of that nature, but how do we kind of put that on steroids? Right? In your area, how do people find out about you? If you're online, how do people find out about you? And it starts with curiosity. Curiosity meaning, give you an, I'll give you an example. Instead of just talking in ether, I always give you guys examples. So, if I'm a person that's struggling with low back pain, right, and a video pops up on social media, whether it's Instagram, whether it's Facebook, whether it's YouTube, and it says, you know, seven ways to help you fix your low back today. Now. I'm not even gonna go into that whether you know you can do that or not, but that's gonna engage curiosity, right? Because here's the thing is, clients pay attention to things that solve their problems, right? This is big, okay, this is big. They pay attention to things that solve their problem, right? So if somebody needs a bunch of money, if things pop up, they're gonna help them make money, they're probably gonna be interested, at least they're curious, right? They're gonna be curious about it. So if they have problems with, like I said, their low back, they're gonna be curious about that, and that's gonna engage curiosity. Now, you're gonna to have to create good content and actually solve some of their issues. Okay, but that's what you do. You're already doing that when you're coaching clients, right? You're helping people lose body fat, feel better, move better, improve performance, get stronger, build muscle, right? Whatever it, your niche or the group of things that you do for your clients. So you gotta start with content that people can click on because it's curious about. Those are like, I would say, I don't want to call it clickbait, it's just headlines that pull people in, right? If you put a, I would say an email out and the headline of the email says something like, you know, finally, you know, uh, sustainably lose your weight and keep it off, right? And if it's something they've been wanting to do, that might be something that it, they're gonna click. So I, I would say study headlines, you know, study headlines of people that do great job of having them click on it. Meaning you could go to, like, this is some of the stuff that we share inside of the Yo Grow Your Gym mastermind where we're giving you guys the headlines that have been performing well for ads, for emails, for content on blogs. But that's step one. So when somebody, for instance, and I'll give Instagram as an example, sees on Instagram, and let's say it was an example of, you know, low back pain. I'm just abusing that. And then they start following you because they're like, man, I was, I did the drill, it made me feel better. So I was curious. And now we go to kind of like phase two. Right, phase two is enlightenment. Now what enlightenment means, this is when people start following. You subscribe to your channel, they get on your email list, they follow your Facebook page, right? They're, they're engaged, okay? Now you have an opportunity to enlighten them about what you do. And this is what I talk about, the behind the scenes stuff. Now the way that you produce content, it doesn't necessarily matter, but I do believe that video, just like what you guys are seeing right now, is extremely powerful, right? Showing people what you're doing. And this doesn't have to be, you don't have to, I don't say, like even create things, you just have to demonstrate. So imagine somebody's just filming me, coaching a client up on their trap bar deadlift or a deadlift. And they used to be in back pain, but now I'm doing the coaching cues and explaining it to the camera while I'm coaching them and getting them to lift well with great form without back pain. All I'm doing is demonstrating the things that I was already doing in a coaching class or in a coaching session, right? And so that's the kind of behind the scenes stuff that you're just showing people how you get results. And with time, like I said, this gets people to see the product, the service, right? And that's what leads to essentially to commitment, which is like, hey, let me get on a call with you. Let me come and do a 30 day trial with Vigor Ground Fitness, right? Let me, let me check out the coaching biz and what you guys are doing and see if you guys can help me out, okay? So that's the simple form of it. So because clients pay attention to things that solve their problems, it, it, it means that you have to, so there's a little note, always have a notebook to write the obstacles and the problems that your clients have. The, the people that you're already coaching, what do they come in with you struggling in with? 
right? What was the thing that they're like, man, I need to solve this problem, okay? And then create content around that. And of course, what we say, like, make sure that you're working on the headlines, the curiosity part of it, so you can get people engaged and then you can help them get enlightened to, like I said, how you can help them so that they take that next step. So making sure that past and present obstacles and problems, you're already writing them down. Also, listen to the marketplace and the solutions they want and the problems that they have, right? So in that space of, like I said, whether it's, you know, I'll take another example uh, as I train uh, the Bellevue basketball team. So I talk to kids, man, I want to jump high. I want to run faster. Hey, my Achilles is bugging me. I'm having knee pain. Okay, great. So like now you take those problems and you start creating content around that. Like five, five main reasons your knee's hurting when you play basketball and how to fix it, right? So that would be a video, uh, for instance, a video tagline, headline, and I would create content around that, right? Three exercises to fix your Achilles pain for good, right? If you play basketball, right? So uh, curiosity is gonna drive into that. Now the thing is that you have to talk about, this is very important, you gotta talk about the problems simply and clearly, right? Simply and clearly. And this was one of my mistakes too, as, as I was uh, just starting off in the industry, right? Trying to impress other coaches, having like this jargon and big words and stuff like that. You gotta make it simple so that people can understand it, right? Regardless of who you're talking to, make it simple, make it clear. And so with that said, you can now start writing out and going like, hey, what's the content I'm gonna create that's very, very simple, okay? That's very simple, that's engaging, that's gonna kind of answer this curiosity of the problems that I'm trying to solve for my clients. But this is the key, and this is where people go wrong. Give your best stuff away. Give your best stuff away. So if you go on my YouTube channel, you'll see that I'm giving full-blown hour and a half nutrition presentations, recording them, putting them on there. Presentations from my summits, uh, the Vigor Round Fitness and Business Summit. Uh, like everything, just giving it away. How program design, full-blown vlogs, on how I write programs for athletes, for fat loss, for things like that, giving it away. So a big one that most people don't do is in my stories, I show how I coach clients or do programs. On reels, I'll actually give away programs, right? So essentially giving your best stuff away. And people are afraid of that because it's like, oh, what? but if I give it away, then they won't need me. Not true. So there's three things that happen if you give your best stuff away. I learned this from Frank Kern quite a long time ago, right? And it's like, number one, well, you position yourself as expert and authority because you're basically studying this, right? You're studying this and you're sharing your knowledge, right? So when people see somebody on stage, on video, they're gonna, they're gonna basically perceive them as expert and authority, which means you gotta know your stuff, right? So I'm gonna say always study, always learn, learn this stuff, apply it, and then share it. But number two, they'll see that you have confidence Because who would share their best stuff? You gotta be confident about your stuff working and being good. Like nobody's gonna share stuff that sucks, hopefully not, right? Number three, put it this way, and, and this one is important. They see that there's a proven system, right? They see what is going on. Like people want to have that reveal, okay? So proven system, so if you've been doing something Right, and you're sharing it with people means it's not random. And that's very, very important. And then number four, this is a big one, right? If they can't do it themselves, guess what? Right, if they can't do it, they're gonna reach out to you, okay? And the reality is, is even the information many times is not gonna allow us to do it, right? I constantly reach out to people, to whether it's lawyers, whether it's physical therapy and rehab that I need, whether it's soft tissue work, whatever it may be, right? I'll a lot of times go like, wow, that's, that's interesting. But I'll still, but I can't do it. So I'm gonna reach out to that person to help me do it, okay? So that's the magic of, like I said, giving it all away. And literally, what ends up happening, you get this, okay? This is, this is the bonus, assets. Okay, so think about all your stuff, your systems, when you write a, deep blog post about something, when you create a video about something like this, right? Those are all assets that you can now promote, run ads behind, you can do, you can make them as systems to your coaches, so on and so forth, right? So 
just think about it. this is how you grow your fitness business. Like I said, you could also check out say the Vigor Ground uh, Fitness and Performance Facebook page and see there's consistent content going on, a lot of engagement, and it grew that and now we get organic leads through these different channels. Not to mention that if we run advertising to, to, the, to this content and follow up with offers, we get a much lower cost per lead, right? So to grow your fitness business, to, and, and the thing is to differentiate yourself in your area, like this is the model and just becoming consistent with it. And like I said, these are not only systems and models, we have accountability inside of Yoga Ridge and Mastermind, which you can check out below, where we teach this stuff, give them for you templates, help with, like I said, organizing how you're gonna do this in your business. Whether it's for brick and mortar, you have a gym, you're a coach, solo coach right now, you're doing online, you're doing a hybrid, this will work, like I said, in every area and you must apply and I promise you, look, what's difficult is scarce and what's scarce is valuable. So most people won't do it, but if you do, you're gonna have a lot of success with it. So with that said, Coach Luca from Yogurt Gym, I'm gonna be back with some more vlogs of how you can dominate your space. Peace out.